much. And let us see what do we have here. So I think our plant might be looking at banning the low water because his team is not clearly the fastest one out there. What do you think about it? Do you think Kino might be taking a hit or low water? Uh, I can't hear if you're speaking. Hello? Can you hear? You're very, very low for some reason. I mean, I haven't changed anything. Um, okay, it's fixed. Okay. Well, the so we did not see the Luato ban, so he, he's available to pick. But it's not picked, to my surprise. Emmet is being banned, Walash is being banned. Well, Plat definitely knows the rule of banning Walash against Funky. How goes with it does not challenge Funky Walash. Instead, he's ready to, to take on the Lewatel, I believe. Well, I don't know how helpful the Lewatel is going to be here, but he still might pick it anyway. No, it's not picked. But I think the reason why Lewatel is not picked is because Funky started with the wire, which basically neutralizes and, you know, minimizes the water damage by a lot because it cannot really one-shot a Lewatel anymore because the typing is screwed up by two wire, you know? Yeah, he would have needed to have led the Lewatel and be able to bring in Mimit from the back, which obviously banned Mimit second anyway, so that strategy for the lead anyway is probably completely dead for this series So Plague does come in, Uppercut, uh, sorry, P-Jab doesn't do much, but minus one defense is always good. Faraday Cage should take it down to 20% roughly, or even 15.8. That Valky is dying next turn. This combo is just so, so, so good. It just amazes me how much value this combo can get every single match. To our it's Mishuk funny. Starter. The Volfi would have died if it wasn't neutralized at the start because P-Jab would have been 2x damage. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but this, that's where this combo... this combo comes in, right? 3 ticks of poison is just so much on top of the already good damage from P-Jab and Faraday. And it's just yeah. gonna do the same thing again on more flank probably. It actually decides wow, to Wolfling it. outspeeding the hologram, uh, but the DV does not outspeed the hologram. He decides to P jab the Shook this time. Oh, yeah, well, Wolfie was dead anyway. Um, obviously, he would P jab the move flank there. Mm hmm. Well, it can P jab again, and Faraday and that move flank is dead. Or it can P jab Faraday, the other slot, whatever comes in. Kino and Banshee do not like to take that hit, so I was expecting Raiken, but apparently Kino does show up as well here. Kino doesn't like a P jab Faraday as well here. But plus two speed on move flank. I don't think move flank can one shot the two wire either way, so. That's completely a different story. I am a bit surprised he didn't go for the Faraday again when he still had the uh, Vigor last turn. I think but he, he did save the died. damage. Yeah, he, you he, think he, he would have died from DV? No, I mean he would have been at as low HP as he could. 
and more plant could have killed it this turn with the plus two speed without doing anything. Oh right, yeah, it did get the unnoticed proc turn one. That's why the Goring outsped turn two. Mm -hmm. Outsped the hologram. But now tenderness and move flank is much less effective. Tenderness is so goddamn annoying. Or let's like you literally do a move, you minus one attack on a tem, and you still regain more stamina than what you spent. It is just so much value sometimes. It is a very powerful move, especially if you can. Um, go before the time that's attacking but even if not it's still still value for the rest of the game if it's something you can't deal with quickly like a move flank or like a yowler mm -hmm. well yowler just walked into a board full of mentals here but dodging that hypnosis like a boss well he that's definitely still on the bandwagon of Camo Yeller. Mm -hmm. He definitely took a note or two from the last match where Two Wine was mostly just being constantly hypnotized. But Camo Yeller, well, it's been a, it's been a while since I've seen that, and it's glad to see it again. Yeah, it's it just depends how you want to use the Yeller. Camo Yowler is not really the raid bossing type. It's more the you can't deal with me and I'm just going to deal a ton of damage back to you quickly. Sort of Tem rather than Matcha. You want to take it a little bit slower, get your stone wall, get your show offs, and then you just like win after that. Electro Punch doesn't do enough to get that kill. It's 11.7%. Still alive, still breathing. Plus two speed ensures that it is gonna get another attack off. Do you think it's worth to keep that move plank for later on to maybe do an execution on something else? If possible. Um, I, I would be fine just having it possibly go out here after the Goring. It's already minus one attack, it's not really too Doing much helpful. Yeah. Well that Yovlar is just yeah. chilling. He came in, he did his stuff. Hibernated and back to almost full HP again. He does go down to two betas, but he has to deal with this Ragnet somehow before Barnchi can do anything. I mean, Funky's not completely lost here, but he probably does not have enough stamina. Okay, now now it's just pretty much done. The Paizo goes first, and obviously KOs the Barnchi. Is that your dog? Wait, did you hear that? Yeah. It usually never goes through the mic. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he is. So Ragnar is right now well gone to sleep. This Raikin can start stacking up if it really wants to. It is in a really good spot, but again, Funky is not in the best spot right now considering the amount of times being alive on his side is really not enough to take this match away at least so matt is going to be on a very good start for this finals especially the two iron mushroom combo is just so much damage turn one who was funky's first ban on matt's team does matt does matt have a uh naga no i don't think so So I forget who he bans first, but he might want to consider banning either the two wire or the Mashuk. Mm -hmm. If the wire is banned, then he can basically go with the last turn one. 
Well, I mean, into him, a shook is still gonna be difficult, but yeah, he can. If he wanted to. I mean, but Platt banned the, the Valash first anyway, so. That, that uh, combo is really difficult for him, though, the Mashook and 2 i It's just too strong. It has been really dull. So I think if Platt, if Platt takes this match away, um, Funky definitely has some notes that he has already taken and he might be doing the next big ban accordingly. Jab into the synergy. Um, I'm blanking on the move. Mm, two wires yeah, there you go. Two wires banned. banned. Yep. Yeah. And so is Mehmet. So basically, as I said earlier, if if Tuvar is banned, then he definitely like Plat will not allow Luotel to be played with a Mehmet, as it can instantly do some stuff here shenanigans, and that is why Mehmet is instantly banned as well from Plat's side. He was like crystal clear: if I'm not getting Tuvar, you're not getting a Luotel start right there, because that is gonna be a disaster to face. Well, Ash is the first so yeah, so they both funky. they both adjusted their ban accordingly. Obviously, like the top level players should. <laughs> uh, but now we could see just a potential P jab into CPG combo, which yeah, it's still gonna hurt a lot. Just as effective, except if two vine dies turn one. Which C spikes and a Ketza threatens a kill. It, it will be really close. And now with the ban on Calibus, there's nothing that's really resisting this right can. So if it does start to get prideful stacks going, it's going to be really dangerous for Plat to deal with. And there's nothing really that swaps in well to that turn one combo, so assuming like if two vine lives and he does get to P jab Ketza into the Belash slot and threaten to kill there, that's gonna be tough for Funky. But if he takes out the two vine or if it swaps and he gets the double in on the swap, it's it's gonna be a an early advantage for Funky. That is for sure. Now the question is, does this two one live a double lane or is he is is Plant just gonna play it safe and swap it out, bring something else in, or is he just gonna go with that P jab CPG uh, combo on that will last try to take it down? I mean it's still about if the one lives with the double or not. He doesn't take the and risk, does he plays blink. it safe. Yowler comes in. So Yowler, he also uses as kind of his, oh crap, um, I don't have another attempt to eat this, so let me throw in Yowler at it. And it's just doing over 50%, so another combo will kill the Yowler before it gets to move, and that does give a prideful buff to the Raikan. Um, Valash will live another uppercut too. So, he can elect to just repeat the same combo if he chooses. Yep, that is good enough I mean, damage and it's just clicking buttons right now for Funky. Not much of a problem to deal with. And yeah, and, and for Plat, Nox is the only swap that would probably live. I'm assuming Plat swapped the two vine because it dies. Um, so... No matter whether you're hitting the Yowler or the Nox, it's going to be decent damage here. And we do see the Nox come in for the Yowler. And it's another combo of the same two moves, Crystal Spikes into the Ketza.
Takes it down to 43%. We do have the tenderness this time. The pivot from Matt into the right can. Kind of getting ahead of this potential prideful monster that could be forming. That is a really smart move as he said it is. Advanced preparations in case it does get a prideful buff. The attack needs to be under control and that is what exactly he is doing. Now we do see the Valash swap out for the move flank. Raikan also leaving. In comes the Kinu uh, with the protector buff onto the move flank. Now the Kinu does threaten the Valash. I mean the move flank, sorry. The Moshi. How uh, Moshok you mean? Mush Moshok. What do I, I keep misreading. Thames. It's okay. It happens. I mean, we all are on a mental toll right now. After the very few matches we have seen so Mooflag is looking in a good spot right now as i see the minus one defense from pj have removed the protector buff defense it had and it has taken its defenses down a little bit does get that speed from the whip so it is going to be pretty speedy moving forward Mooflink does swap out for the Volfi this time. And we'll see. Yep, he read the Mashuk leaving, I guess. But Nidrasil comes in, so Volfi immediately doesn't like this board anymore. I mean, to be honest, this Volfi's not looking to do very much this match at all, but the Acid Reflux um, does not touch the Volfi, obviously. Yep, that is a good swap there. But again, this Volpi doesn't really, yeah, as you said, do much. Like, even if not supposed, just Toxic Ink still hurts a lot to the Volpi. And it definitely does not want to eat any of that. It's none of his business here. At the same time, because it's not doing much, there's not really a reason to swap it out. I just... It's... I forgot which other Tem he had an option to pick and chose Wolfie instead, but it, it is pretty, slightly somewhat of a dead Tem here. I mean, just two vine is the only thing it's really wanting to fight at all. Yeah, there's two melees, there's two toxics, all of them take care of it. Palash, getting that madness buff, oh sorry, sacrifice, and scavenger bring prop, stair coming in, minus defenses incoming. And that, that was a good play to, to cover. I mean, the Valash still has not Madness buffed yet, so it it's just going to be doing the base damage, but... So the Nox took 57% from the Spikes, Ketsa combo, but now the Raikan is minus one, so I don't know if the same combo again will actually get the KO. It if can't. it does, that would be pretty big. It's gonna trigger either trance or first aid kit, something. It can't get the knockout. Like, after the first hit itself, there will be a trigger of one of those. But technically, yes, it is True. still gonna get yeah. special defense, um, and the attacks are physical, so yeah, it can actually kill your eye. Right. It, it would have to, uh, yeah, you're, but if it is first aid kit, assuming it's first aid kit, the if the spikes triggers the first aid kit, it will not kill. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. If, if it's just above 25%, I mean, I don't even think the minus one Ketsu will be doing enough at that point. Oh, we do see spikes. In oh, into the Yowler slot. And a Ketsu to follow as well. Which is actually a good call because it does get the kill and you don't have to worry about the first aid kit for this turn at least. Gives him back his attack that he lost and... Buffs his speed as well. Well, that Raikan is ready to get into some heated up turns now. Unless there's another tenderness coming in, keep it under control. But I think uppercut might be more valuable to the Valash. Valash lives the uppercut as plus one defense now. Oh, yeah, you're right. No problem. 
we saw it do 48% turn 1 at base defense. So now plus 1 it should live from 40. Now we do have the Ketza activating the trance. Probably uh, purposefully not to uh, to force the Noxalotl not to attack. But then spikes to follow. Well, maybe he misread and thought his spikes would go first. And now he's going to pay for that. His Valash is gone and his right hand is down to 40% with another poison tick on it. 39%. But we do have the Mooflang coming back in uh, potentially here to keep the uh, synergy going. But it is the Volfi instead actually. I guess he did not want to risk uh, a, a tenderness onto his move flank, but I don't know that he's going to be able to take out the Mashuk before. It's not going to be fast enough. Okay. So he swaps out the right can, brings in the move flank on that slot, knocks a lot of leaves. Three ticks, or two ticks left of regen, I believe. And two vine comes in. DV onto the Mashuk, bringing it down to 70%. Not going to be doing too much with that double screen. And a waste of water into the right hand, which is now a move flank. Bringing it down to 9%. So this looks like Magia has this one in the back pretty securely. No, it's, it's going, yeah. Chat has been really quiet. Almost thought stream got stuck or something, but can Raiken carry the weight of this match? It might be a bit heavy for it, but it, it still has the potential to take it home. I don't think it can. I mean, he does have like KOs available to him, and he did refresh his um, fake beard. He also dodged the mom's lunch on that Nidrasil swap in. But Mashuk oh, uh, no, with Tenderness should be able to deal with it. Yeah, it's, it's too low of HP right now. Yeah, even one even if, water should be enough to take it down later on. Yeah, even if, assuming he kills the two vine here, um, like a Toxic King from Nid might, might even be enough. And the Tornado outspeeds anyway. Doesn't even get the Kets off. Wow, I thought the plus one would be enough for it to go before the two vine. And that is game. Yep, looks like it.